Chris Beer. Steve Caballero. And I'm like, I've never done one. I don't yeah. care if anyone else does it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Woo! I'm here with Cody Cepeda. All right. What's your favorite color? Favorite color is probably black. If I'm just thinking about rocking clothes and stuff, it just goes with everything. It looks clean, so probably black. Okay. Uh, what trick that you can do that you don't like? Contrary to popular belief, like I'm really not the biggest fan of double flip tricks, but people see me do a lot of them in games of skate. But it just it's good ones to get people letters, so I just run with that. But it's not really my favorite stuff to do. Like in a normal day. Awesome, awesome. Uh, who do you think is going to take it? I don't know. There's a lot of people out there. I mean, Yuto's here. If Nigel shows up, obviously he's always got a good chance. Um, Lucas Rebello, Kelvin Hoffler. I don't know, man. There's a lot of good dudes, so I we'll see. Those are probably my my bets, though. All right, what's up? Sure. Oh, we got the clap too. I'm here with Jay Scott, hands down, baby. Already know. All right, so what's your favorite color? Favorite color? That'll be black. Black? Okay. Uh, what's a trick that you can do that you don't really like doing? Front smiths. Front smiths? What? Hate them. They sketchy. Sometimes my hands go up, and you know I keep them down. You already know. All right, so last question. Who do you think is going to take it? Probably my boy Yuto or uh, Lawan. Uh, in this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So y'all get ready, man, because look at him. The grind never stop. I'm here with Willie Santos. Okay. Willie, what's your favorite color? Blue. Blue? Why? Yes. Oh, uh, well, it's like high school color. Okay. Mira Mesa, Marauders. Okay. Yeah, class of 93. That's aging me, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So next question is, like, what's a trick that you can do? that you don't like doing? Um, I like heel flips, but I don't do them that awesome. <laughs> All right. Like and straight heel flips. Sometimes it gets ugly. Okay. Like a half cab heel flip is fine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think is going to take the competition? Uto. Uto? Yes. Yeah, the second <laughs> one today already. OK, yeah. All right, appreciate That's it. What's up. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. Yeah. Yo, you're a legend, dog. Hey, thank you. You're a legend. Yeah. Out here in Tampa. I'm here with Steve Caballero. Okay, okay. Steve, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is red and black. Okay. Red was my favorite color back in the, in the day. It still is. What is a trick that you can do that you don't like? Well, I'll tell you right now, any tricks that I do, I love. So I don't do any tricks I don't like. Okay, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. And then, um, who do you think is going to win the contest? Um, I just showed up this morning at 6 a.m., so I haven't seen who's been practicing. So I have no clue who's going to win. Okay. Thank you for your time. I enjoyed your set. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm here with Chris Beer. All right. Chris, what's your favorite color? I'm going to say blue because I got to hold it down for the city. You did. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from, though? Uh, I'm from New York, but I live in uh, all my homies from Long Beach, California. Okay. Yeah. So. That's fair. All right. So what's a trick that you can do that you don't like? Um, I would say... Switching over the hill. Switching over here? Yeah. Why? I mean, I can do that trick, but it's always a process to do it. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's probably why I don't like that trick too much. <laughs> and then, who do you think is going to win the competition? Well, Yuto, come on. Now, it's not even a question. My man is handling business every single time, man. Yuto, hand down. But, hey, I'll be stoked about winning, you feel me? But Yuto definitely going to take it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your time, bro. All right, I'm here with Courtney Wingard. Okay, Courtney, what's your favorite color? Uh, yellow. Okay, she, she knew. She already knew. All right, so next question is, what's a trick you can do that you don't like doing? Probably like nollie big spins, because I'm just gonna like slip out and die. So I'm like, oh. Okay, okay, valid, valid. And lastly, who do you think is gonna win the contest? So I wanna say Yuto, because that's like the safe choice, but I'm gonna go with Jagger, because like 2018 he won, I feel like he can come back and like go off. All right, sick. I'm here with Kelly Hart. All right, Kelly, what's your favorite color? My favorite color. Um, I would say blue. Of a sort. Maybe like a turquoise blue. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. All right, uh, what's the trick that you can do that you don't like doing? 
I said an answer earlier, but I don't know if I believe in that. Because I can't really do that trick. But, oh, I, I would say 540 flips. Okay, yeah. You can do those shit. I mean, I have done it, and there's yeah. a reason why I don't do it. Yeah. Because that trick looks... I don't I don't like it, personally. Right. But, like me doing it. I don't yeah. care if anyone else does it. I just personally don't like doing it. Yeah. Okay. And then, who do you think is going to win the contest? Well, I'm a judge, so I don't know if I'm at will to say any of this. But, I mean, I would win, but I'm not skating. And, like, probably it's either me or Nyjah. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those two. So, but I'm not skating. So, probably Nyjah. Okay, Nyjah's taking it. Yeah. That's what it is. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I watch the Nine Club all the time. I'm sorry for laughing so much. So, I'm here with Xander Gabriel. All right. Xander, what's your favorite color? Uh, I didn't think it because of the wall, but my favorite color has always been blue since I was a little kid. So I'm going to go with blue. All right. Now, like, what's a trick that you can do that you don't like doing or something that's your least favorite trick? Um, I, I'm good at like 360 hard flips. Like a 360 hard flip, Makba, and a 360 hard flip, like a bump to bar thing at a contest in China. So I like doing them, and I'm good at doing them, but I feel like it's kind of an ugly trick. A little bit, because some people are like, just like hate on the trick. So I don't like doing them so much because they don't really uh, go over well with the people. Yeah, right. You gotta please the crowd and everything. Yeah. And then, who do you think is gonna wait to take the contest? Um, I'm gonna go with Yuto because he's just so solid and it's kind of funny. Um, Yuto used to stay like at my house, like we had made it, we pulled the, the couch away from the wall and made a little section for him. Yeah. You know, and, like but before he was like. He was, Before yeah. he was Uto. Well, he was still kind of Uto, but I still didn't understand it because he would be sleeping in his little section and he'd have three Street League trophies, like right there, like worth like 350000 I'm like, bro, Uto, you got $350,000 worth of trophies right there. Why are you staying behind my couch? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then he'd always go, Xander, like, can we get Pokey? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> He's like, okay, I am ready. And he would just sit on the couch. I'd be like, Stole my boxers, like, all right, I'm gonna go get ready, and then we go to get Pokey together. So he's a, he's a good dude, and he's a fucking solid skateboarder. So I'm gonna go with Yuto. All right, for sure. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Woo! So I'm here with John DiLorenzo. Okay, so John, what's your favorite color? Red. Red. Why? I just like warm colors. I don't know. I don't really. I don't really have a reason. I like warm colors, orange, yellow, they're all cool. Fair, fair. All right, so what's a trick you can do that you just don't like? Uh, I don't like to tray flip, really. It's a trick I see a lot of, and I don't like the way I do it, so I don't like to do it. What do you think about, like, best trick? Like, what stood out to you? Uh, Jamie doing the front crook to front feeble and barely landing it was cool. Yeah. Everybody lost their shit, so, yeah, that was the best trick. And it, it won him the whole thing, so... Exactly right. Yeah. Good. I'm here with Andy Anderson, the one and only. How's it going? All right. So first question is, what's your favorite color? Uh, gold, but more specifically brass. You know, okay. like sunshine gold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, what's a trick you can do? I know you can do like pretty much everything, but what's a trick you can do that you just don't really like doing? I have to say Benny Hannes. For some reason, that's the only trick that I have a stigmatism behind. Yeah. Like, I've tried to break stigmatisms behind so many different tricks. Yeah. And Benihana, I'm like, no. <laughs> All right. And then, I know and, you just and, won and, the... It's all right. Yeah. And I've had kids come up, come up to me and say, like, yo, I learned Benihana's because of you. And I'm like, I've never done one in a video ever. Like, I would never let that footage get out there. You're mistaking me. Anyways. Yeah. No, no, but I mean, you got to explain. You got to let them know. What's a trick that stood out to you besides your trick uh, about the whole thing? Like, not about just, the not whole just, thing? Yeah, not just best trick. Jamie Foy's front crook to front feeble on the cross and down. Uh, front crook across to pop the front feeble down. He landed like this, yeah. okay? And at most competitions, you can do that. But in Tampa, it's too slippery to do that. Yeah. You're not... You can't physically land like that and pull it off. You always just go slip out. Yeah. He somehow held on, 
And I think it was more about the way he landed, but the trick too. And then it was at the end of his run that was just like, ah, and then he won the whole contest because of it. So, yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's that's really good. That's a really damn good answer. Yeah, the whole explanation too. Like he put physics and everything into it. Yeah, like a street league course is really grippy because okay. they're always brand new concrete. So when you're preparing for street league, you go to grippy skate parks. But Tampa is notoriously the most slippery park ever. So people like will bring different wheels than they normally ride and stuff like that in order to grip more here. Yeah. So the fact that he didn't slide out on that trick is insane. But they also used a new form of skate light this year that sticks a little better. But he landed on the concrete, so it shouldn't make a difference. You just broke down street league too, and I didn't even know anything about that. Yeah, it's weird. Like. For example, the Vance Park Series Bowls. Yeah. Like, all this shit, it's all brand new concrete. It's poured that day. So in the early practices, the coping is ice, and then the concrete on the top and the bottom is so grippy. Like, you're doing a 50-50 grind, and if your wheel touches wrong, it's just, like, shoom, like pulls you out. But then by the fourth day when the contest starts, it's all worn in, and, like, it's just crazy how the park changes between practices. Like, when we showed up, none of this was as slick as it is today. Oh, okay. But, like, people... With, with the top level pros, everybody waxes the crap out of everything because fully waxed is consistent. Yeah. And you need consistency. But like in some local communities, they're like, no, wax is for like. Just like, go faster. Just go faster. But that doesn't exist in Street League. In Street right. League, it's like, no, you wax the shit out of everything. So everything grinds the same no matter what it is. Right. And that's like the Shane O'Neill, that's the Niger, that's the Yuto move. You know what I mean? You don't want something to be sliding less than another thing. Right. And then golf wax, which is made of paraffin wax. Paraffin wax is the best wax in case. Because a lot of waxes have impurities in them and it ends up making them way less slippery. Okay, so like it leaves like residue and like it, I don't know. It... I don't know what it is, but paraffin wax is just so pure. Yeah. That it's like, they use it for canning foods and stuff. These guys are saying they got the, even the big golf wax G-U-L-F. You yeah. can get it at, like, Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. Golf wax. You get the small bricks usually in a box, but homie had a big brick, and he was complaining that it wasn't the same as the small bricks. Like, everybody knows their wax. Like, S Scott DeCenzo used to have a backpack full of different kinds of wax, and, like, he'd be like, this one's perfect for this surface. And he'd be like, he only has this much left, so he's got to be, like, super careful with where he uses it. Yeah. But he needs different wax for different obstacles. Like, just go golf wax, in my opinion. You're set across the board, the small bricks, not the big pound bricks. Congrats on winning, yo. Thanks. For thanks, for, thanks for letting me elaborate there. I love that shit. Yeah, no, it, exactly, bro. Like, you got to let people speak. Them. Yo, actually, I just peeped the necklace with the zipper. Oh. What, what does that mean? So I collect zipper tabs. I find them in the street, and it's a way that I let the spirit world connect with me. You know, when I, uh, when I find a zipper tab, I feel like it's saying, yo, you're on the right path. You're doing your thing. And I happen to find, I've been doing that for years, and I happen yeah. to find this zipper tab in the Olympic Village when I was in the Olympics yeah. in Tokyo. So it, it just means more than the rest Yeah. for that reason. But like, if you look at my keychain, I got like hella zippers on here. You know, I only got three actually. But sometimes I'll go months without finding a zipper and then I'll go find three in one day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, you find what you're looking for. Hey, oh my god, you find what you're looking for and if you want to be spoken to, you gotta let the world know the means in which it should happen. That's some good stuff, bro. Yo, can we keep going? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm out of questions. I'm just like, yo, I'm I'm digging this, bro. It's, it's lit. <laughs> What's up? Skateboarding <laughs> is the best. I think skateboarding is the most complicated activity on the planet. And I haven't been able to prove it yet, but just the variabilities and the different surfaces and the fact that you don't have to, you're not confined by a square, like football, soccer. Get as complicated as you want. The only way to score is to get it in the net. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the only, like if you kick it out of bounds, it's out of bounds. Like there's no out of bounds in skateboarding. You have people yeah. throwing their boards against walls, bouncing back and then they land on it. You know what I mean? It's like globetrotter shit, but that's like the real game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you can't do like a street ball move where you put the basketball in uh, under your shirt and then like hit it around and then right. whatever. Right, if, if you could do yeah. that, then, yeah. then, but I think basketball is actually the most similar as far as like accessibility in the street and in the, in the you know, skateboarding is such a cheap 
sport to get into. All you yeah. need is a skateboard. You don't need a lift ticket. You don't need yeah. a fucking car. But yeah, as soon as you have the board, you're, you're good to go. You're you can, good to go. You can have dirt ground and you're still chilling. i seen homies in India get hella good on dirt. Yeah. And you're like, bro. Yeah. And they don't even have bearings. They'll be like rocking no bearings and shit. And they're still like shredding. Bro, I've seen like freaking blocks of wood for like trucks. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, some of the spots in Africa that are making their own boards, like... Uganda, yeah. Uganda? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm up... Yeah, dude, the, like, they have, like, wooden trucks and shit. Uh, it's so sick. What up? Gnarly. Yeah. Um, thank you for your time, though. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. That's some... Yeah. I'm here with... Jamie Foy. I already know. Congrats on the win. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite color? Favorite color is going to be, like, a light blue... Something, yeah, something that's kind of like a, like a good sky on a floor today. All right, all right. And then uh, what's a trick that you can do that you don't really like doing? I mean, I, I, I love the trick. It's a hard flip, but for me, when the way I do them, it ain't that good, so I don't be doing them that much. Just be staying away from them. Understandable. You know, some tricks you got to relearn and yeah, stuff. exactly, exactly. You know, some stuff is hard. Yeah. And then uh, what tricks stood out to you? Out of all the tricks done, not just best trick. I know yeah. you just won with the front crook, front uh, feeble. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for the whole weekend, honestly, the, one of the craziest things to me was the front 270 lip out of the quarter pipe by Jake. Front 270 lip on the rail from the quarter pipe by Jake Wooten. That was crazy. It's just something that, like, was like, ah, no one's going to do something like that. And it just ended up happening. So it was nuts. Sick, sick, sick. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank you for your time. Thank you, guys. All right, Appreciate see you at Vista. Hey, hell yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, South Florida, boys. Yes, we out here. Thank you, man. Hey. Thank you.